It was described as the botanical find of the century. A young National Parks and Wildlife Service officer was out canyoning with a couple of friends and stumbled upon this grove of really strange looking trees that he didn't recognise. And it turned out to be an entirely new genus and species within an ancient 200 million year old plant family called the Oricariaceae. What was most remarkable about the discovery was that scientists had been finding fossil pollen uh, that they were able to link to this species and its close relative, suggesting that it had been around since the time of the dinosaurs, like 91 million years ago. One of the reasons it's so significant is it does force people to contemplate, you know, a time span so much greater than their own lifetime. It's a relic species from when Australia was part of Gondwana, and those times were very different. The things that are affecting the Wollamai pine are the fact that it's in a very discreet, confined location. It doesn't have a big range, there's not very many of them, and a lot of impacts that we've created, so things like pests and weeds, soil-borne disease, fire, visitation where we might trample or affect the wild sites, which are really fragile environments. They're stunning looking trees. Under the rainforest canopy, their leaves are, are very soft and fern-like. It's a conifer, so, so the trees produce cones instead of fruits, and uh, male and female cones are born on the same tree, on the upper branches. Our lifetime is a little bit of time in the life of a Wallamai pie. They are so long lived. And what we do now by protecting them for our future generations through the AIS declaration, sets them up to continue to be wild. We should care about its conservation because we have the opportunity to make a difference. The species was discovered on the brink of extinction and thanks to us, we might be able to extend its, its time on Earth. The Wollamai pine needs our protection. Even well-meaning visits can be devastating. See them in botanical gardens instead.